Greetings once again Pirates on the High Sea, Dues Days Din back again with another episode of One Piece, where previously, the Agents of Cypher Pole's attempts to take out Vegapunk continue on, with the frontier dome around the Labo face that was protecting Vegapunk and the Straw Hats having gone down momentarily, they were able to slip on in, with Kaku deciding to trash the Thousand Sunny, as it is their means of escaping to the seas, only for him to be met by his old adversary Zoro, who's itching for a fight. Meanwhile, Bonnie continues to chase down Dr. Vegapunk, determined to know why he would do such a thing as turn her father into a unfeeling, unemotional cyborg. He's essentially a robot, dead to the world at this point. Though Vegapunk says he cannot say, and that he did so under Kuma's own volition, something that Bonnie doesn't believe. That is until she comes upon a door with her father's symbol, and inside she finds one of his paw bubbles. But this one is a different color than the usual color. All at the same time, we have Kuma trying to climb the red port while the marines try to shoot him down. Kid and his crew arrive at Elda, and Garp has arrived at G14, to pick up Helmepo and Hibari in order to save Captain Kobe. It's confrontation upon confrontation upon confrontation, and the Straw Hats are worried that Bonnie may end up killing Vegapunk before they can actually take him off the island, the major objective of why they were even brought into the lab of fate. But what'll happen next? Join me as I find out, won't you? A desperate situation. The Seraphim's all-out attack. I love the hum of the bubble. Oh, it's weird to see it from the side. Bonnie, wait. That has nothing to do with Kuma at all. <laughs> he said to the very obviously looking Kuma bubble. Bonnie? Ah, uh, thought? That's right. Some scholar in their voice blue said, People lose 21 grams at the moment of death, which means that the weight of their soul is very interesting. The soul exists. I mean, we know that because of Brooke. That's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you think it's similar? To your power. Mm. It gives a person's intangible pain a physical form and transfers it to others. Yeah, we've seen that. <laughs> Zoro. It transfers the electrical signals of peripheral nerves without wires. Hmm, right. Is that how he created the satellite? The transference of thoughts into another being. I feel like we talked about that when the manga came out, but now that I'm, th I'm maybe I'm just thinking about it again. But, huh, that just immediately came to mind. How about mental images? Mental images? That's right, images and memories are also signals from nerve cells. How much do they weigh? How big are they? That's what I want to know. <laughs> the pursuit of knowledge. Listen, don't touch it, Bonnie. All right, there is pain. You know the power Kuma possesses. That pain is strong enough to kill someone. <laughs> we know that's not true. No, it's not. We know the color of his pain bubbles. Are you telling me to take my memories and show them to you? Do you want me to embarrass myself? <laughs> I love that grumpiness. I'm begging you to advance the science further. I won't show it to anybody else. I promise. Forget it. I can't trust you. But please. Egghead, lava face. Oh, we're actually getting to see more of this fight. Nice. Jeez. Oh, ooh, ooh, nice. They're just like, oh, let like Kaku have his fun. I know you're strong. I'm gonna go all out from now on. And you don't even have your swords. Oh, ah, we see it now, huh? Dora, by the way, how are we gonna kidnap Vegapunk? If you know something, fess up, Stussy. You're familiar with this place, right? Mm-hmm. What? Rob Lucci climbed up here? I'm oh, sorry. There was a system glitch. Do you want me to go take care of them? Just be quiet and stay here, Lillis. What? He coward. I came up with a new defense system. <laughs> a little late for that. Even Vegapunk the genius couldn't see this coming. It can't be helped, since CP0 is unpredictable. I have a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Jinbei. Have you never seen Star Wars? Don't say that. Oh, the Seraphim. Oh, you guys followed us. Oh, God. Oh, God, look at him. I'm glad that Zoro and Brooke stayed there. There's no way they'll lose. It's two against three. That depends on how they fight. No, look carefully. They have the worst hand. What? The Seraphim are here too. It's two against seven. And the minis, enemies are all formidable. We didn't even give them any orders. You can't make them go back. The dome has already been closed. Hmm. Yeah, because he knows the Vegapunks could override their orders. Damn, they called the Seraphim while the defense system was down. No, I don't think CP0 would want them here. The Seraphim have... 
limited decision making abilities depending on the circumstances. So they guess that the defense system would be resourced and CP0 probably didn't expect this. Maybe we can catch them off balance. What do you mean? The hierarchy system. Since our rank of authority is higher than theirs. The seraphim will serve us here at the lab buffet. The good. It's a good idea. But d don't. Bad. Uh, the climb of Kuma. Red port. Shoot Kuma down. Don't let him reach Mary Shaw. Jeez. Oh, shoot, shoot! Yeah, take the ground out from under him. He's falling. E. Go, surround him. E. Get away from here. Run, run! Don't get hurt. Ah, Kuma. Jeez. Look at that. This is not pain. Oh, we're very familiar with my father's power. Finish him off. Retreat! Ooh. Should have brought more men. These are his memories, aren't they? Yeah. Jeez. Look at that scene. The juggernaut that is Kuma. Jeez. Ah, Kuma. What's pushing you, buddy? Maybe we can catch him off balance. What do you mean? Because the rank of authority is higher than their They will serve us here at the lab of Only if we could get our orders to them until then we're in trouble. I'm gonna go try it out. Try it now. I'm coming with you. I'm not going for fun. I know. I hope the two outside can keep up. I'm counting on you, Edison. Lilith, shut up. Don't say it so bossily. Big showdown. It's bad. Even if it's Zora and Brooke, they can't fight them all at once. I'm gonna go help them. Okay, leave this place to me. Of course. I'll protect it. They're so close to the One Piece. But Moss had... Oh, I assume. You must go too. Our crewmates are in trouble. If it's Nami's orders, I'm going. Yeah. Like the Seraphim, Sanji obeys Nami's orders unconditionally. Sanji Sim. That hierarchy. Sanji Sim, rank of authority. Ladies always. Guys, depends. <laughs> I should help that bastard. Don't think twice, Torley Sim. We're in quite a pickle. It's aggravating, but I have no choice. Below me big time. I'm coming. Ooh. Oh, right. I wanted to settle the score with you someday. Sorry to keep you waiting. Roro Nora. Huh? What is that form of his? It's meant to be a giraffe, but it looks a little different this time. Time. Well, it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna cut it anyway. Let's see if you can cut me. Rora Nora. Look up the ship, Brook. Okay, get ready for this. Nose pistol. Nope. Armament hockey. Yep. There's worse in store for you. Draft blast. I love the name. Kilimanjaro. Unfortunately, it's kind of lost in translation. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Oof. See, now you have a Kaku who's a lot more in control of his abilities. I fought a lot against a sneaky fellow in the land of Wano. I've had enough. <laughs> yeah. I was tired of you whirly bastards. Oop. Should have brought your swords, Kaku. These animation going hard. Before Vegapunk comes out. Destroys a lab. Oop. There's him on the move. Ooh. Oh no, they're going to destroy the lab. That's Hawk cutting through. Everyone with backup blast. God, the scene. Oh, an earth is a trap. This is bad. If nothing is done, this place will be shattered too. What? <laughs> Hurry up, Liz Ellison. Jeez. The animation for this scene. Whoa, wait. Is there an in-between shot there? Like, something caught my eye for a second. Nah, maybe I was seeing things. Jeez. Jeez. That's a lot of damage. Everyone, in this situation, you have no chance of winning. Just blasting away. Oh, oh, you guys are showboating. Damn. Jeez, they're just unloading. Just finish your mission. Jesus. Oh, it's time. Oh, infrared. What? Oh, for the blood. What? Ew. Yeah. Won't give you that good suck. Yeah, you got more to worry about than the seraphim turning on you. Cocky, what are you doing? Doozy, what am I doing? Mm, the way she's animated. I just put him to sleep. Hmm. Oh, baby. Please, Luchi. Why don't you fall asleep, too? Mm. Mad's first successful clone. Stussy, modeled after former member of the Rocks Pirate. Miss Buckingham. Stussy. If none of you remember, that's the mother of Weevil. So... When Duval said she's a lot older than she looks, he really meant it. Or was it Dufel? Back at the, um, tea party, it was mentioned that she was older than she looks, and both is and isn't. Mm, the way she's being animated, damn. Mm, she's got a Morgan from uh, Darkstalkers vibe about her. I don't understand. <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> the undercover agent got played by an undercover agent. Ooh, oh, dang. Mm, hello. Are you going to just kill what you can't understand? Oh, oh. Oh, Jesus. Paper art after image. She learned all the techniques. Gee, hmm, it's so wild. A sea prism stone? Wait, would that mean she's not a devil fruit user? Ooh, hmm. God, they had too much fun am animating this scene. You bastard. I know how you guys are strong. I'm not stupid enough to fight you squarely. Yep, no. Forgive me. Don't go head to head when you can deceive. God. Jesus. <laughs> 
like, mm, god damn. They were having way too much fun with that scene. Like, oh my god. Ugh. And just like that, millions of people were down bad for Stussy. As if they weren't already. It's just layers upon layers of undercover. Oh man, that was fun. It's just unfortunate because Kaku finally got his rematch with Zoro, but it, it didn't have the same grandiose flavor as everything else. But they they put so much effort towards the Seraphim's attack, as well as um, the moment with Stussy that Kaku only got a few hits in, like a few moments to actually show what he could do. It's kind of unfortunate, especially since I like Kaku so much too. No, oh, well, lucky you do. Man, that Stussy scene. <laughs> It's gonna live rent-free in my mind. Dive into the Sea of Information, the Punk Records Library. Hi, I'm Lilith, one of the satellites of Dr. Vegapunk the Genius Scientist. I'm Edison, also Vegapunk. Today we'll introduce this one. Susi is a member of CP0, like Luchi and Kaku. Her nickname is the Queen of the Pleasure District. He attended Pudding and Sanji's wedding. He was born on April 24th and liked apple pie. He tried to steal the great undersea treasure, the Tamate Box, but it exploded and caused a big fuss. He was quite casual in blaming it on the Straw Hat. He is kind of wily. The Tamate Box from the Ryugi Castle. He got it for Straw Hat Lucy, didn't he? So what? That Tamate Box contained explosives. She landed on Egghead to fill her duty along with Luchi and Kaku. Looks like she has been on this island before. Her age has not been disclosed for for some reason that's apparently treated with the utmost confidentiality what if you want to find it if you find it out by accident something horrible happened to you maybe <laughs> i'm scared that's it for today now that you've seen it donate to our research fund see you next time i love the fact that they uh say all of that Mm. Well, that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I've been News This Den, and hope to see you later. Take care. Bye bye.